Welcome Hot Rod City residents. If you're not a resident, just go down here, click the subscribe button, and you'll no longer be a guest, you'll be a resident. So today I'm working on a, a forklift seat, or what was left of one. So it had these two rails on there. It had metal that was like connecting the two. It was all gone, so I had to like remeasure and go back to the customer's shop in order to get all this lined up and then drill holes. And it's actually built more like traditional furniture. It had the coil springs in it and all kinds of stuff, and he wanted something pretty simple. So I made a board put t-nuts in it so that way we can bolt straight to that this foam has obviously just been ate up and wore out so I put a little patch in there and I'm cutting chunks the bolsters out and I'm gonna add them back in and then put a whole nother layer of foam over top of it uh, I buy this stuff sometimes I get the green from Joann's uh, but I also, I, I'm not real comfortable ordering from my local supplier yet. Just because I'm not real sure what I'm ordering. So I got a scrap piece there. This project source stuff, I actually buy this stuff from Walmart. I get the green from Joann's. Some of it I get from Hobby Lobby. Just because this stuff I can put my hands on and go, uh, yeah, that's what I need. They gave me blocks. But I don't know how it comes. Like, I'll show you. My foam supplier gave me this. Okay, so I can feel it. I can squeeze it and go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I need. That's the firm. But the problem is they sent me a block. I don't want to sound like an idiot, but what am I going to do? Call them and say, hey, how, do I, how does this come? Do I get it in a roll like I do the scrim foam? Does it come in a giant sheet? I just, I don't know. So it's something I probably need to work on. So like I said, I got some scrap here. I'm going to put the bolsters back in and then layer across the top. And I'm also going to fix the back, which I had to remake the back out of a piece of cardboard, or uh, plywood, I'm sorry, that uh, it was plywood actually to begin with. That's why I was confident and comfortable with the bottom of it being. The foam on that's pretty gobered up as well, so I'm going to get to this. And another thing we do have is that freaking blows. For little projects like this, I don't bang the big gun out because i got to run the air hose from the big garage until uh, the new upholstery shop's built and it has its own air compressor. I normally buy this stuff, which I need to get better about ordering from my suppliers. It's a lot more cost effective, especially now. This is a 17.6 ounce can of 90 from 3M. I average, I would normally buy this at Walmart, but it's out of stock. And the headliners works great. It's high temp, high strength, all that's good stuff. And I was paying about $14 a can for this. My local Ace was true value was bought by Ace Hardware and Shyster Sneeds. Sell this can for $17. And I have a choice because it was the only place I could find it while my daycare lady was off yesterday. And I had my son. One running all over God's creation with a four-year-old with an attitude. So, I bought this. As you can tell, there's a difference. This is a 14-ounce can. 14.6. So not only am I missing three ounces from this can, but it cost four dollars more. So it's actually more than a dollar an ounce that I'm paying in that. So anyway, I'm just gonna arbitrarily throw some of this on here. Here. 
get some black vinyl out and we'll cover the other. We'll cover the cover this up and then do the other one. Once again, I got a little ahead of myself. Here's a seat. So here's the rest of it. It gets a bolt in it. It'll fold down like so. I think I didn't get to do. There. I just tucked little tabs. That was all. It's nothing special. Just a seat for a forklift. Uh, the hole sits on top of the engine. The whole cover folds up, so this has to fold down. So, this thing, uh, I would have liked to put a little bit more effort into it, but considering the shape it was in, I really didn't have much to go by. But it's done. So, I can get this on here. Here we go. Remember to like comment you're not going to share but I'm going to ask you to do it anyway so please share and stick around for the next episode whatever I do I think I actually have another Peterbilt headliner to do but since I've already done one for you guys it's just another restoration but oh well so later